Hi, my name is Ali Shesava from Breacher Digital and in this short video we are going to talk about how you select the common mode components for our EMC filter. So in the previous videos we discussed how we go about designing the differential mode filter and the damping components and how we use the impedance paper in order to do so. Let's say for now that we have designed our differential mode components which is right here at the moment. Uh, let's say that we needed a total of 10 microhenries and what we normally do is we, we equally spread those around the line and the return. So I would have let's say 5 microhenries on the line and 5 microhenries on the return. Let's say for simplicity that I have 20 microfarads of ceramics and that gives me the LC filter that I designed. In one of the previous videos we said that we needed a damping resistor and a damping capacitor to reduce the Q and that was for stability purposes and we said that the damping capacitor had to be five times bigger than the, uh, um, uh, the capacitor that we have. Therefore if this is 20 microfarads I know that the damping capacitor is going to have to be around 100 microfarads. And then finally we said for a Q of around 1 we know the equation for Q is equal to 1 over R the square root of L over C. We know L 10 micro Henry's. We know C 20 microfarads. We can calculate the value of this. So this portion of the circuit is now complete. Now we're going to have to select the components for the common mode section. If you remember again from one of the previous videos, we said that the leakage inductance of a common mode choke manifests itself as differential mode inductance. So we know that if we have a common mode choke, for example, here is one that we have, there is certain amount of uh, 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 leakage within this which manifests itself as the um, differential mode inductance. I already know that I need a total of 10 microhenries worth of differential mode inductance. So because we don't want to use extra components, what I can do is I can go to the manufacturer's data sheet and find myself a common mode choke which happens to have 10 microhenries of in leakage inductance. Uh, that will allow me to select very quickly the type of common mode choke that allows me to not have extra differential mode components. Hopefully the size of it will be all right. If it's not, then I have to reiterate. And that is why filter design for EMC is an iterative process. So for simplicity, let's say I find myself a common mode choke. It has got 10 microhenries of inductance, uh, leakage inductance. Uh, and the one that has got that much leakage inductance is one millihenry. So I end up with one millihenry's worth of common mode choke. Yeah. And then the final thing I have to do is to calculate the values of the common mode capacitors. Now there are two methods of doing this uh, depending on whether you are making a line filter which is AC or whether you're making a high power DC-DC uh, filter. Now for DC-DC filter you can have um, um, a bigger amount of capacitance usually with respect to chassis than AC. I'll talk about this a little bit later. But let's say for a DC-DC converter. Typically, I would say that the common mode noise starts to appear from about 5 to 7.5 megahertz and above. That is because the capacitance to the chassis is low and therefore common mode only appears at higher frequencies. So, if I assume for now 7.5 megahertz is where my common mode starts to become dominant and then I assume that I want to attenuate this let's say by uh, uh, 80 dB then taking two decades before would give me a cutoff frequency for the common mode section of 75 kilohertz. I know that this is one millihenry. I know that the cutoff frequency is 75 kilohertz therefore F cutoff is equal to 1 over 2 pi the square root of LC. This is 75k. This is um, 1 millihenries. I can work out C. And of course then I can solder them. So I have calculated now this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and these two, and my design is complete.
In the case of AC line filters, there is an extra requirement because the leakage from your line and neutral down to chassis is limited. It could be depending on the standard, let's say 500 microamps. In that case, you can calculate the size of the capacitors based on how much current will flow down the capacitor and you cannot exceed a certain value and then you've got your as the second way of calculating and making sure that these values do not violate any of the criteria.